so Soundpeats has been a well-known brand in the wireless earbud business and has been recognized by companies like CNET and Forbes for having great audio product at a very good price. Well, I have the latest offering here, the Engine 4s, right? These wireless earbuds give you high resolution audio for a penny under $60. So I've been using these earbuds for almost two weeks as my main source of audio. And you know what? Man, I got some thoughts about this. So let's get into it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So these have some unique features that I wanna talk about in this video. So in this video, I'm gonna break it down into three pros and three cons after I give y'all guys the unboxing experience and specs and give you guys my thoughts about it. So let's go to talk about the unboxing experience when you buy these buds. First, when you get the buds, looking at the box is an all black box with the buds in the front and the specs on the back. So when opening up the box, uh, you are greeted to the buds itself that's inside of a charging case. Uh, when you take the case out of the box, uh, you greet it to a type C cable, three pairs of ear tips, one pair that's already on the buds, and you get two extra tips, which has three different sizes. Also, you get an app card and the user manual. So out of the box, these buds is ready to be paired, which is a very good look here. So it's very easy to do. All you have to do is open up the device, go to your Bluetooth settings, and look for engine 4s and pair it, and you're good to go. Now, as far as the core specs of these engine 4s, is Bluetooth 5.3 with a codec is of uh, SBC and LDAC. Now these buds have do 6 millimeter and 10 millimeter dynamic drivers for that stereo sound. Now the battery life is 12 hours of playtime with a total of 43 hours with the case. Now the case capacity is 350 milliamps uh, and the charge time with the buds and the case is two hours from 0% all the way up to 100%. So there's an app that comes with these buds, which is a very good look. The app allows you to make a lot of adjustments such as customized equalization. You can disable the touch controls. You have a battery indicator switch mode and much more. And you can upgrade the firmware with the app. So there's some unique features that's available for these buds and you could get all of this for a price of $59.99. I will leave all the product links down in the description below. So let's look at the battery case here. It's a high glossy design that's well built, kind of slippery, and it's a fingerprint magnet. Listen, it has a, some very good magnets on here that keeps the buds very secure from coming out. These buds definitely not coming out. It's a little, bit difficult to get the buds out of the case because it's kind of slippery but nonetheless the build quality here is very good and you don't have no worries about the lid opening and closing now there's a charge in the charge port at the bottom uh, you have a, a, a reset button and you have a LED light indicator. So the, as far as the bud case itself, it's a very good design, but very glossy. Now looking at the buds itself, it's a nice unique design that fits very well in the ear. Now it would not give you ear fatigue. And yes, you're able to use one bud at a time uh, to get that good sound. So you get the same results, you get the same touch, uh, pad on each bud. So yes, you can use them uh, one at a time if you like. Now, as far as the touch control, you have the usual touch controls here. You got uh, tap for volume up and down. You got double tap for play pause. Uh, you got uh, four taps for the assistant. Now, 
uh, well, four taps for game mode. It's been kind of hit and miss for me when it comes down to tap. Has a slight delay here every time you tap, but the app comes in handy if you want to get some of these controls done. Also, you have the ability to pair these with two different devices, which is really good. So you got some unique features with these buds overall. So before I give you my three pros and three cons or opportunities, I might say, right? Let's talk about the sound quality. At this price is very good. Overall, well-balanced sound, more on the mid and high end. Now, as far as the bass, it was just okay. Even, even using the EQ, the bass to me is just okay. But the clarity of the sound is well balanced, which I really like at this price point. Now, overall, I'm impressed at this, but I went outside to do more testing and I wanna share with you the results. So check this out. Okay, so I've been listening to these Soundpiece uh, Engine 4s for a couple of hours now. I'm out here at the park. One of the things that I like to test when I do these headphone reviews is how does it sound in these in, uh, environments, right? So I'm out here at the park, it's windy. Uh, we do have some people out here, but one of the things that I like to test is the, the, the ambience noise that's outside of me listening to the headphones. Now, one of the things that I, I do want to mention about these headphones, I mean, it doesn't give you that huge amount of bass. It doesn't give you that huge amount of hives, but what it does, it gives you this clean sound. It's like more the cleanest sound of headphones that I've used in a long time. It don't give you too much of the punch, too much of this, too much of that, but it gives you that smooth sound. Also, when it comes down to the loudness, it's not the loudest headphones, but it gives you that smooth sound. Now, as far as noise rejection, uh, even with the app, I, d I still hear my surroundings, so it doesn't it does a good job at uh, noise reduction uh, as far as outside noise, uh, but you still can hear some of the ambience uh, that's outside that I'm listening to right now. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons. Let's talk about some of the pros. First, the price. The price, $60, you get exceptionally great buds for the price. You get better bang for your buck. The sound quality is overall good here. And for the price, that's definitely a pro. Now, coming in at number two, the battery life. The battery life on these is extremely good. Look, I've been using these for almost two weeks, and I haven't had one day that these buds die on me, right? So you definitely could get a nice you could get days of use uh, with uh, using these buds. So I will say that is a pro when it comes down to battery life. They are very good. And my last pro is the app. Usually buds at, the, at this price point doesn't have an app. The app brings some good unique functionality such as firmware update, EQ, EQ controls and stuff like that, right? So the app is a very good look and I believe that the app is a pro uh, for these earbuds. So let's talk about some of the cons or yet opportunities. First, the magnets. The magnets are strong on these earbuds kind of too strong as I struggle to get these out of the case sometimes. I wish there was some type of indention in the case to kind of uh, give you a better way to get these out of the case. But overall, I want to say that's kind of an opportunity. Kind of getting these out of the case is a struggle sometimes. Next, the touch controls. So when tapping on the uh, buds, sometimes you get a slight delay and sometimes it's hit and miss. I believe it's also an opportunity here. Uh, sometimes when I tap on the buds, it, it's not what I want. So hopefully a firmware update will fix the tap controls. It's definitely a delay when you tap on the buds. And the last kind or opportunity is the glossy finish on the case. Been using it for about two weeks and I can tell you it's a mess. It looks really rough after about two weeks. The fingerprints on here after a while will be an eyesore. I wish that the case was more of a matte case uh, to avoid all the fingerprints that's on here. But overall, I will say that it is an opportunity for the next version of these buds. Give it more of a matte case. So here's my conclusion. 
The South Peach Engine Force is a great pair of earbuds for a great price. Well-balanced sound that gives you great battery life. The app is a very good feature to have if you want to make some customized changes such as profiles, sound profiles, and stuff like that. Uh, the fit in the ear is very comfortable and you will not get ear fatigue, especially wearing it for a long period of time. Look, overall, the price is right for these and I would give these buds a thumbs up. Now, the only thing that I don't like here is the fingerprint magnet of the glossy finish of the case. But as far as the sound quality, the sound quality is well balanced. Look, I will leave all product links down in the description below if you want to check these out. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Sound Peace Engine Fours in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.